Rob, well, arson charges are now filed against a man who allegedly set fire to a St. Paul mosque earlier this week. The fire significantly damaged the Taweed Islamic Center on North Dale Street. And prosecutors say the suspect had intentions to set fire to additional houses of worship. Let's go into the newsroom tonight to Paul Bloom with more on the allegations. Paul. PC and Tim, scary stuff here. The suspect reportedly telling investigators that setting fire to the St. Paul Islamic Center was, quote, fun. Well, this is Saeed Murakezi for you, arrested earlier this week. According to the charges, he said it is lucky he was caught when he was because he was going to torch another mosque or church. Now time to go inside the gutted Oromo American Tawheed Islamic Center. This is the sixth mosque targeted in Minnesota just this year. Murakezi charged with second-degree arson and burglary, charging documents laying out what happened with Murakezi caught on nearby surveillance video previously breaking into the building that was not being used as active prayer space and then setting the damaging fire on Wednesday. He has a history of setting fires and other nuisance crimes and reportedly told investigators he was Muslim and that he burned the building as a form of protest over the issue of homelessness. Whatever the motivations here, members of the local Muslim community have been rattled, calling for additional security at their sacred gathering spaces. So we are asking that to put in place a deterrent that will, that will prevent this from occurring in the future. We have to come to this every day. We have to drive, some of us, they have to drive far away to come over here. I'm now, I feel threatened that the next could be my mosque. It could be my mosque. Murakezi was in court this afternoon. He remains locked up with bail set at $50,000. He was just charged with property damage in Hennepin County for breaking into a Minneapolis Catholic school where he was allegedly found sleeping in the elevator. We're live in the news tonight for you, Paul Bloom. Fox 9.